Hi everyone, today my topic is adhesive supply of hand. So let's start our topic. Okay, this is the palmar surface of hand, and this is the dorsal surface of hand. First, we'll discuss the palmar surface, then we'll go into the dorsal. Okay, now leave everything and remember one thing: that ulnar and radial arteries are the main arteries of hand. First, we'll discuss the entire story regarding ulnar artery, then we'll go to the dorsal artery. Okay, this is ulnar artery. You guys can see it's going all the way up like this and makes an arch here. It is incomplete arch here, and here it gives out branches like this. And these are the common palmar digital arteries. These branches are the common palmar digital arteries. Why it is common? Because it divides into two like this, and it is common for both digits and supply the adjacent sides of the fingers. You guys can see. Okay, this is these are the proper palmar digital arteries because it is supplying the digits of the fingers. Now, here, these are also the proper palmar digital artery. Okay, on the medial side, it is not common because it is not divided, so it is the proper palmar digital artery. these are the proper palmar digital arteries and this is the common palmar digital artery why i'm saying all the time co palmar palmar because of the palmar surface and this is this is how an artery is going up all the way and here it gives up common and where it divides into two and spans the distant sides of the finger and it is the proper palmar digital arteries so this is how an artery is spanning the medial side of the index finger third fourth and fifth finger of the hand like this okay this is all about ulnar artery and now we'll discuss about the radial artery the second main artery of the hand on the lateral side uh, in green color okay here it gives a branch that will unite with the ulnar artery and form superficial palmar arch Okay, now this is complete superficial palmar arch. In red is the ulnar artery, or in green is the radial artery. Okay, now why I'm calling this superficial palmar arch? Look, when I cut my hand, the first arch that I'm gonna see is the superficial palmar arch. This is the radial artery on the lateral side. Here you guys can see it is moving onto the dorsal surface, and before moving onto the dorsal surface, it gives a branch that is, that is forming the superficial palmar arch. And now is Now, now look how radial artery is going back, and here it gives one branch to the index finger and one branch to the thumb of the hand and the dorsal surface, and spread the adjacent sides of the thumb and index finger in the dorsal surface on the dorsal surface. Look, this is how. Okay. Okay, now here it re-enters in the palm of the hand by pressing muscles and gives one branch like this that will form a uh, deep palmar arch. And again, like in the dorsal surface, um, again it gives one branch to the index finger and one branch to the thumb of the hand and spread the adjacent sides of the index finger and thumb. Same like on dorsal surface, like this. And here it re-enter in the palm, and here again giving two branches to the index finger and thumb, and one branch. This branch form the deep palmar arch. This is uh, this is the radial artery, and this is the ulnar artery branch that will unite and form the deep. palmar arch now look in the deep palmar arch which artery is dominant yes a radial artery radial artery is forming 80% of the deep palmar arch and 20% by the ulnar artery and in superficial palmar arch 80% is formed by the ulnar artery and 20% by the radial artery So in superficial palmar arch ulnar artery is dominant and deep palmar arch radial artery is dominant